Well, what I'm going to do first of all is just a basic introductory about the guitar, and then we're going to have a we're going to attempt at tuning um, Gordon and okay. Martin's instruments, and and then we'll see if we can make a start. We'll see how long that takes us. But I'll keep the introductory brief if we can. Um, the guitar itself, quite simple, really. It's a little bit like a person. We've got the main bulk of it here, which is the body. Sticking out to the body, we've got the neck, and sat on top of the neck, we have the head. These things on top here, uh, they're not ears, they're tuning pegs. Uh, and basically, we're going to be we're going to be looking at these when we when we're tuning the instruments. Basically, what happens is if we and I've just got to I'm looking at myself here, making sure that you can see my guitar. It's funny because if I move the way towards the camera, it moves out. It seems like <laughs> the opposite way around. Um, Basically, the way that the uh, the tuning pegs work is the strings. Uh, the strings are set to a certain tension. They have to be that tension um, to create the right pitch, the right pitch of note. So, if, for example, I take this up, a six string, this deep one here. If I twist that, it'll either loosen or tighten the string. If it loosens the string, the pitch is going to go lower. It gets deeper. If I tighten it, and eventually you can see it starts to go slack. As I tighten it, the pitch gets higher. So basically, we have to get each string exactly at the right pitch. Like that. Okay, at the bottom then, here on the uh, on the body, we've got this thing here. This is the bridge. This is the section where we, we tie the strings on. Now, there's different ways of doing it. I'm just looking. You've got pegs in yours yet. You, I can't see your guitar, Martin. In fact, can you move your... Oh, okay, right. So you're an acoustic guitar. So your guitar, yours is slightly different. You're a bridge. You thread the strings through and they're kind of tied on there. Whereas these, we take these pegs out and there's a little bobble at the end of the metal string and, and that goes, it sits in there. We pop the peg back in and that's how it uh, stays. Same concept, just a different design, that's all. Um, and yeah, your guitar, Martin's guitar has got nylon strings and these are all steel strings. Makes no difference really. If anything, the nylon string guitar is a little bit easier to play because because uh, they don't hurt your fingers as much when you're pushing down the strings, and at first when we're when we're playing, it's a uh, it's a bit of an issue. It can be a bit of an issue. Your fingers tend to get a little bit tender on the on the fingertips, but after a while they soon toughen up and be fine. So this thing here, uh, we 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 um, we attach the strings here, and then the strings go up here towards the uh, towards the tuning pegs. Um, it also lifts up your strings over this bit here, over the neck, because if the strings were to touch the neck, um, then we would get this sound. And it wouldn't be playable. So if you notice, the strings are lifted up so they're not touching the string, uh, the neck, so that when we, when we put the string, it's able to vibrate, and of course, vibrations create sound. So this thing here we call the bridge. Bridges the, the strings over the neck, I suppose. Um, we've all got one of these, the hole in the middle, very simple, it's a sound hole, and um, the, 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 the sound of the vibrating string goes inside the guitar, echoes around the body, reverberates around the body, and that's how we can, that's how we can hear it, basically. Uh, if you've ever seen close up an electric guitar, you'll notice that the thin bodies and the solid wood and if you don't plug the thing in, uh, it's incredibly quiet, so there's no way to hear it. So with acoustic guitars, it's great. We don't need to plug them in, all the sound comes from the body. Um, okay, up at the top of the guitar, we've got this little thing here. It's called the nut. And if you just notice, it's got little grooves in it, and that's where your strings sit, inside those grooves. And it just it just stops your strings from, from sliding from side to side. It just all helps hold them in place. Um, all guitars have got one of those. Then we get on to the, the really important things, I suppose. These metal strips here that divide up the neck, they're called frets. Very important word to remember, frets, F-R-E-T, frets. And the way that they work, if, you, if I 
if I play the string as it is now, it, the string basically vibrates from the bridge here, and it keeps vibrating right up to the nut. If I were to put my finger on that first, in that first space there and push down, that string then touches your first fret. So what happens then is the string vibrates from the bridge a little bit shorter to the first fret. And then if I push down on the second fret, it makes it shorter. So the string gets shorter and shorter the further up the neck than I go. What difference does that make to the sound? Well, if the string's getting shorter, the pitch is getting higher. So those notes are getting higher. So that's one important thing. When we push down the strings, we, we don't push actually on the fret, we push in that gap in between so that it touches the next fret. Okay, so uh, strings, six strings altogether. And um, usually I ask people which string is your first, I'll take a guess which one's your first string. I'm not going to do that now because there's three of you and, and so it'll take too long. Um, but ba basically most people say that that one there is your first string. It isn't, that's the sixth string. So your first string is this one here, the highest pitch string. So it's your first string, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth strings. The, those strings are numbered, always numbered like that. If you buy a pack of new strings and want to attach them, it'll say one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we know which one, which one is which. That's pretty much all the basic uh, stuff done. You've got the body, the neck, the head, uh, the tuning pegs. Um, that way, the tuning pegs, the bridge, the sound hall, the nut, and then the frets, yeah, and the strings one, two, three, four, five, and six. The other thing um, is is this hand, your thumb, generally goes behind the neck at the back, not on top, more like that at the back. Um, you can see from the back. About that position, the okay. <laughs> there we go in the centre. Yeah. Generally speaking, we do have to change your position, but uh, generally speaking, that leaves our four fingers on the front. Uh, dead easy to remember: first finger, second finger, third finger, and fourth finger. First finger, fourth finger. Okay. So, in a second, we're going to get round, and I'm 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 going to test you, and and. I'm going to ask you to put one of your fingers, one, two, three, or four, on one of the strings, one, two, three, four, five, or six, on one of the frets. And therefore, we should get to the same note altogether. And so that's how, we're, that's how we're going to do it. Before we do that, which is important, I just need to check uh, about if your guitar is in tune, basically. So if I, if I can go through... If I, that's a bit easier. That's better. So if I say, let's start with Gordon first. Okay. Uh, can you play me your sixth string? Have you muted your sound? It's gone quiet. No, no, nothing. Can you hear that? Got it, that's better. Try again. Okay, so that needs to go up just a little bit. So okay. what we'll need to do is, with your tuning peg, yeah. Um, now it should be, as you look at it, it should be going anti-clockwise to tighten. They don't always do. You'll need to play it and then start to turn very slowly and you should hear it ri rise a little bit. Okay. okay. Keep going. That'll do. I'll do, and now your fifth string. But, so right, let's same again, so same direction on, the, on your fifth string this time. Make sure you get the right tuning peg. I think it starts to take them on here. Yeah. Oh, too far, too far, too far. It's go back, go back down again slowly. Well, 
little bit more. Perfect, that'll do, yep. that'll do. And now your fourth string. That'll do for now, I think that's not too bad. And your third string. That's not too bad as well, your second string. Yeah, and your fifth string. Okay, I'll do for now. That's not so bad, yeah. Okay. Now you can get uh, you can get guitar tuners, electric ones like that, and basically you can see that uh, they're all slightly different. But you push the button. If you can find the button, there we go. And then if I play my sixth string. You can see that centre lines, uh, the centre on there has gone, uh, gone green. When it's green, it's in tune. That looking like it's a little bit sharp at the moment. It is. I'll take it down a little bit. There we go. It is floating around. There we go. Green. So that's one way of doing it. Um, but there's other other way you can get an app as well for your phone, which is uh, a similar kind of uh, similar kind of thing. Often you'll find an arrow, and, and you're going to get the arrow in the centre. So if it's if it's too too high, it'll be that way, and you get it into the centre. If you go too far, it'll tell you to come back down again. That's the basic gist of it. Um, and the best thing to do if you do get one of them is tune it every time you practice, rather than leaving it, because other little issues can come in if if a tune gets, if a string gets so far out of tune, it doesn't register it on the actual tuner, and then you, you, you just got to be careful then of, uh, of of trying to over tighten and then end up snapping strings, things like that. But if you always keep on top of it, then it shouldn't be so bad. Let's try your guitar, Martin. And um, so, if you play for me your sixth string first. Right now, that's really low, isn't it? That sounds like a bass. Probably guitar. hasn't been tuned in forty years, I would say. <laughs> and, that, and and that's exactly why I thought that this might be a, a the, the the tricky bit. So okay, so uh, so find your your tuning peg for your sixth string. How do I know which one it is, Gary? Just follow it up, and you'll right. see which way, where it goes to. It's well, the first one, I think. Yes, it? it should be that one. Yeah, it should yeah. be that one. So, which way do I go to? Well, if you, if, 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 I mean, it's that low at the moment. It's not going to snap, so I won't worry. Just, just turn it. If you turn it as you look at it, anti-clockwise, but play it as well, and you should be able to hear it rise. Right. Yeah. yeah, you're going the right way. Keep going. Keep going. Nail it. I think we're there. Yep. Okay, try your, your fifth string now, which should be the one next to it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's very, very low. So again, give it a good turn. Start turning a bit slower now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Spot on. Good. Uh, now your fourth string, which should be the one next to it, the one on the end, it should be that one. Yeah, 
Yes, I think so, I think so. And now your third string, that one should be underneath on the end as well. Not mm. that one, I think that should be your first string. Your third, I think, I think yeah. That one? Yeah, it should be that one. Sorry, that one. Yeah, see that? Yep. Yeah. Oh, now hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. Right, so there you could tell then it went lower, didn't it? So yeah. it went the wrong way, so you need to twist that the other way around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just a fraction, are you? Okay, we'll go with that. And now your second string, which should be the one on the bottom in the middle next to it. Which way should I go? Whichever way it takes it higher. Yeah. Getting closer now. too far then just take it down a little bit yes we'll go with that first string just hold that there a second because your first string's a little bit more tender than the other one just give it a bit of a tug a light tug yeah and then carry on yeah just in case if it hasn't been tuned for quite a while Sometimes they can getting closer now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just move it. Yeah, hang on to that. Okay. Right. Touch wood. We should be okay now. I think if we're going to have any issues with any guitar, Martin, it might be yours because it hasn't been played or tuned for that long. So it might keep slipping down. I might need to just check it again at the end before we, before we finish. <coughs> right. So, um, well, let's give us something to do. Let's give us something to start with. That's good, that. Um, so I mentioned before about uh, all the parts of guitar and then the important bits are the frets. So that's your first fret, your second fret, your third fret when we're pushing down. Your fingers, your first finger, second finger, third finger and fourth finger. And the strings being one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to start first of all with this chord. We're going to try, we're going to take your second finger and we're going to put your second finger onto your fifth string. One, two, three, four, five, on the second fret. Now I'm going to need to see, I can't see your, yes, that's fine. Uh, that's your third finger, is that uh, Martin? Your second finger is the one in the middle. Oh, sorry. That's the one, yep. Yeah. That looks good to me. Yeah, that looks good to me. And um, so we're going to hold that there. We don't need to push down yet. Just leave it there in that position. Because now we're going to add your third finger. And your third finger is going to go on uh, also on your second fret. So they're going to have to squeeze in. But it's going to go on your fourth string. So that's one, two, three, four. Yep, that looks good, Gordon. That looks good, Garrett. Yeah, I think we've got that as well, Martin. No, yeah, I think that looks good. Right, with your thumb, just go from all six strings and just go. Up. 
Right, I'm going to need to do this one at a time because the sound's cutting out when we all play at the same time. So, Gary, can you try that first, please? Can you have a thing, though? Is your... No, it's completely silent. Can anybody else hear that? No. No. No, okay. Get Kath to come and do the technical side of it. <laughs> well, if you just come, maybe if you just come a bit closer to the... Because I can hear you talking. Oh, it's probably just not picking it up, yeah. yeah. Talk yeah, spot on. That sounds good, yeah. Try that, Gordon, please. Again, I didn't get anything coming out. Okay. Yeah, I think I think that sound I think that's okay. Yeah, from what I could try try that Martin, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we all seem to have got that. Okay. Just let's try, just let's try. Oh, we can't play together. That's the only other issue we've got because there's a sound delay on here, so we can't all play together, which is, uh, well, that's a bit of a shame. But we're not, not to worry, not to worry. That was the first chord. Chord, uh, chord's called E minor. Now, it doesn't, why it's called that doesn't matter at this moment in time, really. Just remember the name of the chord, E minor. Two types of chords, major chords and minor chords, but again, we don't need to worry about any of that just yet. Just the name, that one's E minor. And that's written as a capital E and a small M. Now, what I could probably, what, what I need to do really is to get, um, is to get, a diagram to you so that you can actually see that and read that at home isn't it now maybe if i if i hold up the chord that's written down already you'll have a recording of this afterwards that might work eh? if i did if i did something like that rather than asking you to write it out because that'll take too long so let me let me have a go at this Gary, I don't know if you've uh, tried it for the future, but you can share your screen. Right. I'm not saying do it now, but you can, if, you, if you've got diagrams or drawings, you can um, put them up on a PowerPoint or a document and just share your screen and we can see them then. Okay, I've, I can see the share screen arrow. Yeah, so you just need to um, do, do your diagram uh, on something, you know, put it on a PowerPoint or something like that and then you can show it. So I'm not saying do it now, but... Be aware right, of got it. And then does that come up as a separate window then for reference? We can just see it separately, yeah. Right, okay, okay. We're all becoming experts in Zoom, aren't we? And everything like that. Yeah. Used to be a nice lolly, didn't it, Zoom? Yeah. Sure did, yeah. Was that like, uh, like the rocket? Was it with three yeah, yeah. different colors? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> And there's also Fat Larry's band as well, wasn't it? Did Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. So what I've just done here quickly is a guitar diagram. Now that does make sense. <laughs> So what we've got, what you can see there, is we've got uh, the head at the top here, um, and the tuning peg stuck on the side. We have the nut there, and then we have the frets which are going across, and then we have the strings which are going that way. Difficult trying to do it back to me. <laughs> and what I'm going to do, I'm going to write the name of the string, the number of the strings on top. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So you can see which string is which. And if, if in doubt, all we do is just put it next to the guitar. So you can see the... We've got, you know, the, the same, the same thing. Which way does it go? That way, yeah. So the only thing I ever got on there is where to put a fingers. Now, bearing in mind, I've numbered the fingers. I'll do a little hand diagram as well. Oh, it was never really my strong point. 
but I'm sure you can uh, I'm sure you can work it out from that. <laughs> okay, so if I write then the number of the finger, if I write the number of the finger onto the chord diagram on the string that we need to push down, we should get exactly the same note. I'm going to put a number two for your second finger and a number three for your third finger on there. Now that's the chord we've just done. Can you have another look at that one and just play that one again just to make sure that you can read the diagram right as well? That's it. Yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. Right, so now we've done that. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw out another chord. And so for this week, what we can do is actually look at the chord we've just done, look at the new chord, and I'll show you in a second how to change from one to the other. And that should get our fingers going for this week. That should be good. So <coughs> But I'm not going to talk this one through you. I'm just going to show you the diagram and see if you can work it out yourself. Because obviously when, when, when I'm not here and, and, and the lesson's finished and you're at home, then sometimes you look at these diagrams and think, what's all that about? Whereas if we get into the habit of, uh, into the hang of doing this now, we should be okay. Not one. Now on this chord, we don't actually play the sixth string. If you notice, I put a cross there at the bottom yeah. and one at the top as well. So we, when we play this one, we put a thumb on this fifth string and strum those five down rather than uh, all six strings. So the fingers we're using for this is we're going to use your second finger, we're going to use your third finger and we're going to use your first finger as well. So three fingers on this chord and I'll cover that one up so we don't see the wrong one. Let's look at that one, see if you can get that. Mm. If you've got it, Gary, just play it. Mm. Sounds okay to me. Yeah, could you just go through strings one at a time? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, don't forget, no six string on that one. So only yeah, five yeah. strings. Yeah, yeah. That's... And looking at that, um, is your second finger and your fourth string or your fifth string there, Gordon? Uh, it's just off it there. I think you, oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. As long as it's on the fourth string yeah. and, not, so, and not touching that fifth string. Because if it's yeah. accidentally touching that fifth string, it'll okay. stop it ringing okay. out. It'll, okay. it'll prevent it from ringing. Just try that then. Okay. And again, and again. Yeah, that's sounding good. That's sounding good. I can't see the end of your guitar, Martin, but uh, yeah. Okay, now the only thing what I can see there is you've got your third finger there and got your second finger there. So you swap your second and third fingers round. Yeah, you got the right notes. There we go. That's looking good. And again, if you put your thumb on your fifth string. Yeah, I think we've got that. I think we've got that. I think that's good. Right. So, um, what's the best thing to do? Is if I if I hold that like that, can we do a can we do a screenshot at any time or not? Is that possible? Mm, sure. I mean, obviously, we can watch the video back mm. and then pause it, and then maybe do a screenshot. Maybe that. Maybe that. So there's yeah, a. You, you there can do a, a screenshot. Yeah. I'm just not sure how you do it. So in Windows, if you're on Windows, there's a thing called a snipping tool. If you just go into your Windows and type in SNIP and it should come up. 
and it's a small little app that you can use to take screenshots. And what you do, you click it and it, the screen sort of goes like a hazy gray and you just swipe over the area that you want to. Um, so I don't know why I can, yeah, seem to have a screenshot of that now that you've got, you've done. I'm trying to keep it still so then get yeah, it all yeah, in. Yeah. Yeah. Is everyone happy with that now? Yeah, I, I can do it. I can always get Sharon to share it with people if. Uh... Yeah. Oh, I did forget to write on what the code was called, didn't I? I knew there was something, sorry. Might need to do another one. Be mad. So again, you could see there, the first one that we did was E minor, and the second one that we did was A minor. Okay. Okay. Right, so the next thing then, we've got our first two chords and E minor, we're gonna, what we're going to try to do is, is to change from chord to chord and it's not, it's not a difficult change this one, those two fingers are on for E minor and all we do is we move these two fingers over a string and then we put that first finger on and then we get A minor. Yeah, and to go back to E minor, we'll lift this first finger off and move these two fingers, these two fingers over again onto your fifth and fourth strings. Okay. I'm a bit lost there. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We um, yeah, you need to get that chord back again, won't you, and, and redo them again. So are we going on. We're we going on the one, the, the second finger and the third finger. Second finger and the third finger. Yeah, E minor. It says E M underneath the diagram. Just let me see the end of your guitar there. Uh, oh, hang on. Right, now you've got your, your, if you look at the top of the string on the diagram, it says fourth and fifth strings. Can you see? And you, and you were on your second and third strings then. You've got the right notes, but your second finger needs to be on your fifth string, third finger on your fourth string. So just swap the two fingers around. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And you can see from there to go to the other one, your second and third fingers are almost in the same place. They're just one string over. So we'll lift them two up and move them two fingers over onto your second and uh, third and fourth strings. That's it. And then add your first finger. Where's the first finger go on to the uh, you, you, Well, you've gone back to E minor there, so go back again to uh, A minor, move them two fingers over onto your third and fourth strings. Then if, can you see on A minor, we have that first finger and that goes on your second string. That's it, yeah, yeah. And to go mm. back, we just lift off, that's it. And to go back, we just lift off that first finger and move them two fingers over and you get E minor. Excellent, good, good. That's great, yeah, really good. So, I mean, what we can, one, one thing to practice first of all, keeping it nice and simple, is just moving your fingers like this, that chord to that chord, just like you were doing yeah. then. We don't even need to strum anything. We can practice this late at night and not wake up the kids. <laughs> Just going from one to the other, just keep changing those. Yep.
Okay. The next step after that is because uh, I'll, I'll do enough to do to last us all week. Uh, the next step after that is is to start using this hand. Uh, and at the moment, I've just used the thumb. Although, if we can use a plectrum, then that will be great. If we've got plectrums, but again, we don't need to worry about that just yet. Because the thumb's okay, but plectrum is better for learning to start with. Um, one, two, three, four all together, and then change. One, two, and uh, three, and uh, four, and back, and uh, one. So you can see that I'm just playing them in groups of four, very slowly, very slowly, no rush. It's, it's not a race. Four, and then change back. One. So again, I, I'm kind of rushing on there. So I'm thinking after a few days, if we can if we can be able to get up to that level, then that'll be brilliant. I mean, you can we can all play those two chords. It's just a case of letting these fingers move from one to the other, really. Mm. And and what happens is, and I've used this term quite a lot, we start using a muscle memory, and fingers just move on their own, and you won't even need to think about it. I, I often liken it to a bit like driving a car, when you think, well, how can you remember? How do you know when to push that clutch in and that brake? And you can't even see them. How does your feet know where to go? You don't even think about it. They just do it naturally. It's just muscle memory. And it's the same thing with your guitar when we're playing. So that's how we're building up. We've got our first two chords. Practice moving from one to the other. And then start to add this hand in and do them in groups of four. We can do them in groups of three. Um, and then after that, what we're going to be doing then is we'll learn different chords, new chords, learn to change from all these chords. And then when we add this hand and add some rhythm with this hand, then it all starts to come to life. Then it becomes music then. Not just not just doing exercises yet, but that's how we're that's how we're going to try and build it up a little bit at a time. Let's just get our fingers used to playing those two chords first for this week and see how we're. Yeah, going it does through. feel a bit awkward, doesn't it? When you. Yeah, yeah, it will be. Yeah, no rush, no rush. Um, and in terms of practicing, uh, every day is is every day is definitely the best. You don't need to do loads and loads of time. You know, um, I remember when I were at school and we were doing music lessons, you know, oh, you've got to sit and do an hour a day and, and get your music out and get your head in it. For, it's a lot more relaxed than that. We can pick it up. Maybe even if you've just got five or ten minutes, you know, just, just pick it up, run through them two chords. And, and the, it's, it's the amount of times you keep going back to it and doing it mm. is more important. You know, if you pick it up five times a day just for five minutes just keep picking it up like that that's miles better than doing a four-hour practice session once a week yeah all, all that'll happen then is you'll get frustrated yeah uh, and and your fingers alert that's all that'll happen so you know little bits at a time um that's that's the, that's the best way to do it okay yeah all right has anybody yeah. got any questions that was really great thank you no, got any questions that's 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 good fingers crossed those guitars will stay in tune if they don't and it's not sounding so clever it's not you you know as long as you know, it's not you you've got that um if there's anything urgent you can always message me and uh i'll run through it again but uh like i say i think i think we've got that fine just make sure you've, you've got that and make sure you read it the right way around you're stuck and you're not so sure put your guitar next to it and, and you can see exactly which string it, it's, it's written as you would look at the guitar like that as you I'll, I'll send that i'll get sharon to send that screenshot out to uh, on slack or something brilliant so, all right yeah brilliant thanks very much gary